I'm gonna bank it <clears throat> one way and then the other. Screen shows up very well. I'm going to go up to a hover here and I'm going to flip my auto tune switch. And this is auto tune. It'll keep doing that as long as I keep the switch switched. Alright, I'll put the switch off. I flip the switch back on again, it's going to auto tune in the pitch direction. I still have control over this roll and the yaw. Basically, I just need to leave it doing that. Then I can come over here and try to bank it hard and see if I like the way it's tuned. It's tuned very aggressively. But it works. Now if I like the tuning, Get up some decent altitude. All right, right here is where I'm going to turn on my uncrashability mode, which tells us that that's the minimum altitude I want to want to go at. So now, if I go up a little higher and tip it way sideways, it automatically took over, and it'll bring it back to the right height. All right, now what we're going to do is we're going to do the extreme test. I'm going to flip it upside down and let go of the sticks. All right, upside down, let go. Oops. I did not flip it right side up. It saved itself. I'm going to do it again. Get some altitude. Flip it upside down, let go of the sticks. No control. Right now, I'm going to flip the switch, uncrashability switch on, so that's my minimum altitude. So if I tip it, gets below that altitude, I'm still trying to tip it, but it straightened itself back up, went up to my minimum altitude. Now I'm going to flip it upside down and let go of the sticks. Flipped over, let go, it straightened itself out, brings it back up to minimum altitude. I have control again. Alright, I'm going to do another slow roll. Oh, it took over. I've got control again. 
Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to do one more completely inverted and let go of the sticks. Here we go. Invert, let go of the sticks, not holding the sticks. It just caught itself. Now I have control. Now I'm going to go to the right until I'm going to keep holding to the right. I'm still holding to the right. Oh, it just came to the left because it says I'm getting too far away. Even though I'm still holding to the right, I'm still holding to the right, still holding to the right. When it gets back within range, it'll let me and have control again. There we go, I've got control again. So I've got control again. Do one more inverted. Let go. Oops, flipped it over early that time. One more. Flip it upside down. Oh, we're too close to my minimum altitude. It won't let me flip over. Now I'm below minimum altitude right now, so I'm I'm going full stick front, forward and back, and it only goes about uh, 20 degrees to make sure that I don't crash it. So if I get my altitude up higher, now I've got full full motion. We'll go up, flip it over. Let go of the sticks. It saves itself, brings it back up. I still haven't touched the sticks. And it goes back up to hover at my safe altitude. I just brought the throttle all the way to zero. Still, it's all the way to zero. It's trying to maintain that altitude. I gave it more throttle, back up. All right, turn off the uncrashability. Now I'm in charge. We're going to do a test of uncrashability mode. First, I'm going to get enough altitude to recover safely, right about there. Turn on uncrashability. Now it won't let me go below this altitude. So if I tip sideways, it automatically tips me back right, gets me back to safe altitude. Now I'm going to flip it completely upside down and let go of the sticks. Not touching the sticks. Still not touching the sticks. See how it righted itself, brought itself back to the safe altitude. All right, we'll do it again. Completely upside down. Upside down, let go of the sticks. Auto, re auto recovers. One more time, we'll go even higher. Upside down, let go of the sticks. Still not touching the sticks. All right, bringing it back.